Good evening. My name is Jan Demirjol from Abacus Data Mining Solutions. Today I have a fantastic demonstration. Actually, it's a real life scenario. One of my clients is a bank and they would like to process 3 million bank statements in just one night. Each and every bank statement is an SSRS report. They just run it with different parameters. That's the only difference. Well, I did a small little test on a BFE SSRS box. Each statement essentially takes 0 0.5 seconds to render. And if I have 3 million of them, then it's going to take me 1.5 million seconds, which equals to 25,000 minutes, 416 hours, and 17 days. I said, it's not acceptable. So I changed the tact a little bit. Since it takes 0 0.5 seconds to render a single statement, and I have just 8 hours to complete, I can only render 60k reports per server. And I, I asked myself, what if I had 100 servers? Then it would just take me 4 hours to complete the rendering of 3 million statements. Let's see, how, how did I do it? In order to demonstrate this, I have my AdventureWorks database ready and one of its sample reports. It is a report based on employee. There are 17 of them. Think about these as your uh, bank uh, banking customers. And so 17, you have 3 million. That's pretty much um, the scope. I have my report month, report year, and there are a bunch of other parameters. And with the default parameters, this is the report, how it looks like. Everything looks great right it's on my report manager and it's rendering perfectly fine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do something radical and delete this report because i don't have the same report on my file share what i would like to do is i would like to deploy this report using my parallel processing etl tool on every server that i have out there so I'm going to create a new report, a new job, and it's going to be render report service. It is residing on localhost, the report name, I just copy it. It's under C temp directory. And these are the file formats that I can choose from. I'll go with an HTML. It's the easiest one to render. That's the main reason. And I will choose AdventureWorks 2008 R2 as my directory. I can put it anywhere I want, but just for the time being. As the query, query means the parameters, I will leave it blank, which means it is just going to run the report as is without any parameters, with the default parameters. Let's come to my repository again and schedule it. That's the last thing on my to-do list every 10 a.m run this report please let's go to my controller restart my all of my jobs and what's going to happen is once it's executed you are going to see the the new m html file right over here uh, I think I need a quick start sorry yep the report is rendered for David Campbell this is how it looks like. Perfect, great. And also I can show you over here that it is actually being uploaded. Let's leave the report as is here and come back to my controller. I'll stop it and change it a little bit. As you can see, I don't have any parameter query at this point. Now let's add this parameter query by going to Management Studio. If I run this query as in as of itself, you are going to have a bunch of employee IDs. At the foreground on the report side, it shows you employee name as the label. At the background, is actually passing the employee ID. And if I would like to split this query into two, I can just take the role number and apply a modulus function and set it to a parameter value, whether the parameter is 0 or 1. I call it the 
that split function, that split parameter. I'm taking the support, pasting it over here, saving it, and again coming over. And since I created a new parameter, I'm going to say split equals zero is this job. What about split equals one? So I just duplicate the report and call this one split equals one. What I'm simulating here is a bunch of different servers. Since I have two workers, that means I can run these jobs in parallel. These workers are right now running on my local host. One of them is listening to 8732, the other one is listening to 8733. So essentially, I'm doing the same thing with two different workers. But think about it as 100 different workers that are running on 100 different servers, and I'm just splitting the jobs. So now let us, let's restart all the jobs. I click Start. As you can see, I had just one employee sales summary over here. Pretty soon you are going to see all the rest. They are right now popping up. Because both of my workers are essentially doing the job. These are in progress right now. Pretty soon you are going to see 17 or with the old one 18 different reports that are being rendered. While they're being rendered, I just want to show you the actual report. For instance, this one is for Jose Saravia. Let's open up another one. This one is for Mensa, Teta Mensa Anna. And I think I've completed my jobs. So, think about this one as running the reports, rendering the reports on 100 different servers all at the same time. That is the beauty of the solution. You can parallel process essentially on 100 servers all at the same time and control it from a single location. With SSRS, data-driven subscriptions, you can do a similar thing, but it's not exactly the same because Essentially, you need to deploy the reports and manage the subscription at the server level at each and every time. Here, you're just doing it from a single location, one time only, and you're done. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to write to me at cemd at abacusdms.com, or feel free to comment on this report video. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Have a good day. Bye-bye.